All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from 7seasonstudios.com. And if you like this lesson and you want a complete course on all of the 1.9 updates that came out, go ahead and check the link below where we give you some actionable ways to take all of the 1.9 updates in Affinity Designer and to do a really cool project with them. All right, folks, on behalf of 7 Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, folks, welcome back to Affinity Designer. The 1.9 update has given us custom studio spaces. Now, I am super excited about this. When you do certain types of work, as you folks know, you use certain studio panels. As an example, over the years, I now tend to keep my layers panel on my left-hand side, front and center. And if I'm doing, say, text work like this, I'll have my character panel out. And I'll usually have like my paragraph panel or something over there if I'm doing more than one line. So as you do different types of work, you're going to want different types of layouts. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to view. And now I'm going to come down to studio presets. Now studio presets, which is in the view menu, allows you to add a preset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go text. So whenever I'm working on text, this is the layout that it'll give me. And I'll hit OK. Now, let's go ahead and destroy this thing, right? Let's go ahead, I'm gonna go to View, Studio, and let's turn off, say, the Layers panel, which I use all the time, and let's go ahead and turn off the uh, Character panel. So now those are gone. So now I come over to View, I come over to Studio Presets, and now, if I click on Text, boom. It comes back. There's my character. There's my layer. I have different presets, let's say, for different types. As an example, studio presets, I did one where I was working on a document. And throughout working on this document, certain positions and certain things came up. So I named it after the document of I was working on an elephant. So now I changed it out and I happen to keep my layers panel over here. I was using a lot of assets and that's how it worked. So the ability to custom set your studio spaces is a workflow improvement. Now, if you are finding us at the entry level of the course, don't try to make all sorts of custom workspaces right off the bat because you're going to need time to figure out your work style. So as you complete some of the projects in a course, then capture the workspaces that become familiar to you and the ones that improve your workflow. Don't make it about the workspace and sacrifice the tools and the learning. All right, folks, that's a little bit on custom workspaces in Affinity 1.9.